Hey, what's going on, folks? It's me, The Rock. And today I'm going to be talking about the bulk publishing system, Aerial Phoenix's spreadsheet that's come up, she's created, come out with, um, which is more or less a spreadsheet uh, powered by OpenAI's API and useful for creating a bunch of content very quickly. So let's talk about it. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to talk about how I've used it. Um, like I'm going to pull up an example of a site I created. I'm going to walk through the spreadsheet and how I used it to create the site, all that URL, whatever it's, it's going to be exposed. Um, what you need to get started, what you get as far as features. Um, and I think that that'll kind of all be explained in the, when I go and do a walkthrough of the actual project, um, some other uses outside of SEO, I think could be useful, uh, that the spreadsheet could be useful for. Some alternatives that are out there, which aren't really any, um, and then how I plan on using the spreadsheet moving forward with projects that are more serious than the one I use to learn how to use the spreadsheet. So check this out. So the public project, I realized my face is blocking that, but uh, energync.com, I'm going to pull up like the SEMrush um, report pull up the actual spreadsheet here in a second energy junk review site. I just went and found some random example. I don't typically do, um, like product review sites. That's not really my jam. So that's why I don't really care that this is being, uh, publicized energy junk review site. It's hundred percent AI generated, um, in that every piece of text on the site is AI. All articles are used, um, or the spreadsheet was used for, was used for all articles. And everything else, as far as homepage content, whatever was used, uh, or Jasper was used for that. Now it's hundred percent AI, the best way to make a website. I don't think so, but again, this was used to learn how to use the software. Um, and the total cost for about 330 articles being published, you can see right there, $23, 26 cents, um, which was $5 and 26 cents out of pocket, uh, cause you get $18 in monthly credits. So really if this website makes any amount of money. It was worth it. I don't know if I'll even like renew the domain, uh, when it comes up for renewal, cause I don't, I don't care. Maybe I'll sell the site and just tell them, Hey, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. So, uh, what you need to get started, you need a kind of basic to modern understanding of Google sheets. If you want to get really granular with what you want to create, um, if you understand the concatenate function, you should be good to go. Should be all you really need. Um, maybe, um, anything else you'll, you can Google, you know, how to, how to use the regex replace function, something like that. And I, I'll talk about how I used all these things, uh, here in a second. Uh, if you love editing because the open AI does not produce ready to be published content, you, you you're going to have to get in there clean up. If you want to generate HTML for your lists and H tags and all that, you're going to have to go in and clean it up. If you know, it, you're, you're going to need to use Grammarly or, or you're going to have to go in and edit the text to actually make it readable. <laughs> and, um, of course you need an idea. If you don't have an idea for a site that you think, you know, you could use this for, I, I why, why would you purchase it? You know what I mean? Come on. Uh, so let's just actually stop here, here and go to let me get my face back. Boom. Um, I'll just click over here. Obviously I was clicking around a little bit earlier. Uh, here's the actual, what you get, you get a bunch of videos. So this is recorded February 8th. There's been like an update or two since I made the purchase. So I think like the second case study was added, watch that a couple of real examples of sites. Um, some walkthroughs, how to use it, watch some of the videos. Some of them I haven't, I'm not going to watch the WB on port because they're not use that. But I also want to just go in here and look at the settings and show that, yes, I did pay full price for this. I didn't, wasn't incentivized or anything like that to be an affiliate or anything. So there's that now. So the site that I made with it, um, here you go. Uh, so for the first like week, not week. What is this? Uh, yeah. About two weeks. I was like going in and actually editing all the articles that were being published and adding a unique video and make sure they're formatted appropriately. And there's no like loose random HTML just somewhere. Uh, I was cleaning all that up. I got tired of doing it. 
um, somewhere around here. And then somewhere at the beginning of February, I was just like, you know what? Let me just publish all the rest of this. Just put it out there. Just publish it. It's, it's not pretty. It's not pretty at all. This site is not a good example of a site. You know what I mean? Um, there's like dual H tags just because that's what open AI generated. And there's, there's broken URLs and, and, and random HTML code throughout the post. It's bad, but don't let that be an example of what the spreadsheet can create. That's an example of my laziness creeping through. Um, and then here's, uh, my actual open AI usage as far as the API. So as you can see, 2326, this was when I basically, all right, I figured things out here on the 14th. I say, you know what? Click and drag, blast it out. Boom. 20 bucks, 20 bucks. And for 300 some odd posts. So here's the actual spreadsheet. Um, and what I used it for. So, you know, you get a copy, um, you make a copy of it and you import your API. You don't see my entire code there. Um, I didn't really use a lot of these spreadsheets just cause I didn't, or these uh, pages or I think they're called pages. Let's see real quick. Sheets. I didn't really use a lot of these sheets just cause I'm familiar enough with Google sheets to create my own. Um, and also I just, well, moving forward, but in this case, I just use the bulk publishing variations spreadsheet. Um, and you can see all I did was do go on Ahrefs, type in energy drink review, ripped every single keyword that had energy drink review in it and went down the line. So, uh, first thing I substituted at all energy drink review, that text with nothing. So all I got was the, um, uh, proper noun in most cases. Um, some of these go off the rails <laughs> as far as what, uh, what the actual keyword was the rocks energy drink. Um, uh, anyway, uh, then I made it proper, capitalized it. The slug was just the keyword, um, with the spaces, uh, swapped out substituted as the formula is with the dash so that way the slug is there um again substitute simple easy you replace substitute everything in b2 substitute the space with a dash simple um this was generated with the uh one of the default let's see i think in settings yes uh no oh where's it at default functions there we go um get the title. It just pulls the title. You can, the great thing about this is you can go and look at the code for all this. If you know what you're doing as far as I think JavaScript, I think it's the language it's, um, written in, you can edit it like really to the point of fine tuned to whatever your use case is. I didn't go in there and do that. Um, just a couple custom, uh, functions, but titles, uh, feature image. This was again was regex replace where everything after the colon, um, in the title was replaced with nothing or just removed rather. Um, that way I can use this column to auto create and bulk images using Canva's bulk image creator. <laughs> uh, auto generated, um, headings were not all generated. This is kind of one of those things where it's like, all right, all the posts are going to be formatted similarly. So, um, how much caffeine is in your blank energy drink? And that was why I cleaned out the proper nouns of, um, all the keywords, uh, paragraphs just generated from that. You know, some of these are blank and it's not because they're blank. It's because sometimes, um, the, the te generated text will create like a line at the beginning. Um, and it's just it's the first couple, I cleaned that up, but I realized it was a lot easier to just import it into WordPress and clean it up on that side. Um, more H2s, blah, 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 same thing over and over. Uh, uh I didn't really use most of the kind of interlinking href, uh, URLs stuff. I just, I don't know if there's any interlinking. Like I said, the, the, the site's a bad example of a site. But 
that's really it. I mean, generating basic content. Um, and again, cleaning it up, you're going to have to, like, if, if we go and look at, oops, if we go and look at one of these, all right, here we go. This one, you know, the, the break is there, the line, you know, sometimes when it's copied over or imported using WPL import, the, here we go. There's like a, you know, random list in here inside this and it doesn't quite work well. So you're gonna have to go in and clean it up. I think that's about it as far as this goes. So let's get back to presentation. Boom. So some other uses outside of SEO. So that's again, that was what I used to just kind of learn the spreadsheet, figure out how to how to manipulate it in a way that makes sense. Um, but I think there's a lot more useful use cases for this outside of SEO, um, just because ranking AI content is kind of a pain in the ass and difficult. Um, so I think like using it to like mass create social media posts would be money just because it's again, drag and drop. Hey, write me a tweet about X, Y, Z drag and drop 200 times. Boom. You schedule it out. You're, you're, you're set for, you know, 30 days and you post five times a day or whatever. I think something like email outreach could be good. Um, if you have the information about somebody and some of these are going to be like data fed. And I'll kind of talk about that here soon as far as what I plan on using this spreadsheet for in the future, but email outreach, if you want to create emails for backlinks or something like that, um, or cold email and for business, like, here's what I know about this person. Here's their name. Here's their company. Take this, take these bits of information, feed them in, sorry, generate an email for me. Um, I also think using it to create like socially shareable or interactive content would be money. Um, creating like Buzzfeed style listicles. Um, 17 reasons why your breath smells like shit. Um, money, <laughs> uh, quizzes, trivia, things like that. Polls, something where it's not like you're not trying to rank for it. You're trying to get something that people are going to interact with and share and, and be get traffic outside of an algorithm. You know what I mean? Um, I kind of already talked about shareable content with that. And also just like outside of like internet marketing, like cover letter creation, like this, probably be very good if you're on the job hunt, even though cover letters are a very archaic practice. Being able to take a job, you know, the take your information, take the company's information and just say, Hey, write a cover letter tailored to this job posting. You got a leg up on the competition. You know what I mean? Um, so alternatives to it, there really aren't any at this point. Really not many alternatives. Uh, the closest that I found is it's called spreadsheet magic on GitHub. Um, and then with that, you're gonna have to have, spend hours editing the JavaScript to get it. So it actually produces something beyond a simple answer. Cause all that does is just take column, um, row and just say, you know, what is X of Y, or if you edit it, you know, you, you got to get in there and edit it yourself. But that's how it starts. What is X and Y? So what is the capital of Rome? And I'll spit out whatever it is. I don't know. Um, the other alternative is like just coding it yourself. Um, again, all this is, and I say all this is as though it's like something minute, but it's it's linking up the open AI API with Google Sheets. That's all it is. Like, uh, you know, there's a lot of, there's a few additional pieces that prompt the built-in prompts are probably more valuable than, than anyone would care to admit. Um, just the formatting of the sheet is incredibly useful for somebody that just really isn't familiar with Google sheets and they just, they want to just get started. Um, but if you have, you know, 10 hours or whatever, 20 hours to spend, uh, coding it yourself, even though if we're going to talk about that, it's almost like <laughs> it is your, you know, your time is probably worth more than what, you know, than what you'd spend, spend like t 
typing out all that code. You could just purchase it and then edit it, you know, from that side. Anyway, alternatives, there aren't any. So how I plan on using the spreadsheet moving forward. Um, I, like I said earlier, I don't think hundred percent completely AI generated just based off of a, an H tag or a title is beneficial as far as SEO goes. It's not, it's not going to create any kind of real compelling content. It's going to create some generic, you know, cookie cutter, A plus B equals C content. So I think using it to create intros for programmatically created pages is going to be incredibly beneficial. As far as like, uh, if you're going to create, um, like affiliate content, A versus B type stuff, this product versus that product. Well, if you have both those products, you can have it say, Hey, create an introduction because we're going to be talking about comparing them. Most of the content in the actual article is going to be duplicate um, from other parts of your website, but that intro can be unique to that page. Uh, any text generation needs to be like rich data fed as opposed to just, hey, here's an H tag. Why should I walk my dog every day and then have it say some random, whatever it kind of creates as opposed to uh, you coming up with the list of benefits and then having it just expand all those benefits or you coming up with the data points talking about, you know, talking about mugs, we'll say, um, or I don't know, microphones, mics, mics, <laughs> what's the decibel range um, or having the actual data of decibel range and, you know, 42 Hertz to 190, whatever. Um, is it uh, phantom powered? Yes. Okay feeding it that and then just having it create the actual content around that. This microphone, the SB whatever is a phantom powered microphone with a range of X to Y having to create that. Uh, and then cause you can find data sets with that information. You can get product information from manufacturers with all information. And then, but it, you know, it's just a big data dump. You can take that import it in the spreadsheet, make your own sheet, and then have it pull the information with the concatenate function. So it shit works. <laughs> um, I think more in depth tailored prompts to whatever your niche is, is also going to be beneficial. For example, one of them that I, a little, I didn't even come up with the whole thing. All I did was add in like five sentences, you know, it was about is energy drink good for you? make sure you say yes <laughs> and then explain why it's good for you. Um, it, fortunately there is a sheet on, in the spreadsheet that is like custom prompts that you can create. I think you're, you're right now allocated 15. You probably get more, um, by just editing the, the JavaScript a little bit, but it's there and you can really, really get granular with what you want it to produce. And I believe now the version I used for that website was, has been updated. It's now updated. Now there's like image generation built in. And I think that'll be really beneficial, especially for featured images, because right now, or for the energy side, I just use canvas, which is the same background for every featured image. The only thing that changes is the text. Um, I think having a unique image for that, having unique images throughout the posts, uh, it's going to be very, very beneficial. Um, but at the same, like that just for featured image, I, I take it back as far as throughout the post, just because, you know, if you are creating something for like a serious site, like I want this to actually, you know, be part of a portfolio or my portfolio, it's going to be something where you're going to want to go in and add a video, go in and add good images, unique images, customized images, and not just ripping stock images from wherever. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, I think that's what I got. That's what I got. Peace.